gone down some more seat. Whoa. Okay, there's a fair few people in here as well. This is the main hallway, isn't it? By the looks of it. Holy hell, is that a tree? No, Damon. It's definitely not a tree. <laughs> I think it has to be like 60 feet tall or something. Oh, a sight to behold, isn't it? That's not it. Let's not get too excited. It's only a tree. No. I'm not even sure we can say that. Could you explain? Care to elaborate? I don't quite get what you mean. Ava bent down and crushed one of the fallen leaves in her hands. I didn't hear any crunching or tearing. Interesting. This is a faux tree. Okay, fake. Oh, impossible. How could someone possibly manufacture a tree of this size? Look at this. If it's real, explain why these leaves don't make any noise when I break them. That expression said it all. Quit it. Why the hell is there a huge fake tree? Interesting indeed. I'd be hard pressed to find a school with an installation like this. <sighs> You'd be hard-pressed to find it anywhere. I feel like you'd only see this in a museum or something. In any case... This building certainly has a strange aesthetic. That's one way to put it. The tree was in the centre of a large circular room. Surrounding it were a bunch of people I recognised from the train. There must be... These must be the others Toshiko was talking about. Mm. Counting the two we just met, this is everyone, correct? Indeed. Oh, correct. What's wrong? Oh, it's something wrong. You see... If everyone from our train car is here, where are the other people who are on the train? The that's... That's a good point. There were other people, right? I'm sure. Of course. The Academy said they reserved that train for its students. <laughs> yeah, but did you actually see anyone? Let's see... I never left our car, but I know Miss Madison did. Hey. Huh? I apologise. You mentioned leaving for the bathroom, remember? She did, actually, yeah. But I left to take a piss like an hour ago. I see. She's even I got see. the little Romper flashback moments. I love it. Alright. I passed a bunch of students on my way to the crapper. I didn't talk to them, though. Strange. They had to have heard the commotion in our car. Why didn't they help us? Damn. Maybe they were also knocked out? Anywho. Oh, I doubt it's something we can answer right now. Oh, can I just introduce you to the others already? <laughs> I understand. Yes, we should familiarise ourselves with the people who are currently here. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's the only thing we can do right now. Regardless, the whole thing was pretty baffling. If the other students on the train passed out, where are they now? And if they didn't pass out, why did they not help us escape our car? That's a good question. Alright, freaking ships, Captain, you're straight ahead of me. Also, that right there. I'm pretty sure that's Tozu. That's what he's going to look like. The old uh, overseer of the killing game. Alright, pirate, sailor, ships, Captain. <sighs> Arr, glad to see you're alright, kid. Oh, of course I'm alright. You gave everyone a scare running away like that. Arr, I really thought we could catch you, but... <laughs> Oh, how fortunate that the door came equipped with a lock. <sighs> See? Oh, however, it was all worth it. Look at these people I befriended during my exploration. I hear you. Arr, I'll give credit where credit's due, ye swab. You came back with plenty of spoils. <laughs> God, he even talks like a pirate. <laughs> Maybe this is the right voice. <laughs> Oi, you. I want to talk for a sec. Uh-huh. You're a pirate, right? <laughs> Shiver me timbers. Ahoy, matey. That kind of pirate, right? Pirate? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like that. Hey. I'm not a pirate, I'm a ship captain. There's a huge difference, you swab. Huh? A ship captain? I'm talking. You don't need to be so loud. She was just asking a question. Just a question? Ha! Huh. Ha! For guys like me, that pirate nonsense is a tired stereotype. Arr. Watch it. Pirates live off stealing and causing trouble. We ship captains are nothing like those low lives. Jeez. If you're not a pirate, then explain the clothes. Uh -huh. He's a sailor, Damon, and he just gets really into it, I guess. Arr, do these look like the clothes of a common pirate to ye? <laughs> Maybe not a real one, but an exaggerated stereotype, sure. <laughs> We're just calling him out straight away. It's probably best you leave this man alone. I take it he's dealt with our kind before. Huh. My mistake. Arr, I never like to soil the mood, but a man can only stand so much. I'm real sorry. Sorry for losing my cool. Anyway... Okay, whatever. You said you were a ship captain, right? This guy was acting weird, but I wanted to get more out of him. I never pictured a ship captain receiving an invitation from Eden's Garden Academy, especially not someone like this guy. That's right. Arr, that'd be right. <laughs> I know the sea is like the back of my hand. Every river and waterway within the north and southern waters. <laughs> I, I am the king of the sea! Never mind. Hero of the storms. I am. Jean de la Mer! Jean de la Mer. <laughs> nice, he's dramatic. I like you. I think you and I are going to get on very well, ship captain man. 
I'm just worried since he's a buff character. Like, oh, he's got a dragon tattoo on his um, on his chest as well. King of the Seas, Hero of the Storms. Do people actually call him that? Or did he come up with those names himself? Is that really true? You know every river and waterway? Is that really true? Oh. Aye, I've studied every map I possibly can. Of course, I haven't actually been everywhere. According to a stingy little thing called Board of a Troll, that's known in some parts as Trespassing Iron. <laughs> I may be King of the Seas, but I'm not above the law. <laughs> I suppose that's good enough. I see. Arr, either way, it's not like it matters much here. From the looks of it, we're nowhere near. Ah, God, you can gas from your tea coming up my throat. It's we're nowhere near the ocean. Leave it to me! Fortunately, life as a captain has accustomed me to the unexpected hour. You lads can trust in me. I'll protect ye as if ye were my own crew. What now? Protect? Protect us from what? Aye. I suppose from whoever put these wristwatches on us, Arr. And again, there doesn't seem to be anyone else in this place apart from us. How's that so? Guess that means our only obstacle is finding an escape. Not too big of an ask, I. All we need to do is find out where we entered, and voila! Sweet freedom. Freedom of the open ocean. With such a simple conclusion, he sure was making a big deal out of it. I wonder how long I'll be able to keep this pirate voice up for. I gave this same voice to Hajime in DR2 for no apparent reason. And uh, there were times where it knackered my throat. By the way... It may interest you to know that people are gathering outside the building Miss Kyura explored. We want everyone together so we can discuss what to do next. Would you like to join? Good to know. Arr, always good to keep people on the same wavelength. Same wavelength. See you there, matey. See you on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> She's disappointed. That guy's a prick. Not at all what I expected. Well, you'll want to talk. Funny. He was every bit as dumb as his appearance. Damn, Damon. God. Well, if he's being if he's being an asshole now, it means he's probably going to go through some real development quite early on in the game. What was the academy thinking, inviting someone like him? Because he's skilled, perhaps, Damon. Not everyone necessarily has to be an academic, you know. Let's talk to a blacksmith woman. She's over here. Ingrid, whatever her name is. Golly. What's this? More friends? Stop. Her voice is going to be kind of similar, I think, to Jean's, but we'll see. Let's not go that far. I don't even know your name or talent yet. Wait just a sec. Then let me tell you. Hi, my name is Ingrid Grimwall, and I'm the ultimate blacksmith. Okay, actually, I should maybe give you my American voice. Maybe that would fit better. Ultimate blacksmith. Here we go. Ingrid Grimwall. I like you already. I like you. You sound friendly enough. <laughs> A real blacksmith, eh? Is it anything like how movies depict it? Have you ever made swords out of molten metal? Not just swords, but tools, armor, statues. If you can name it, I can forge it. Mm -hmm. It's never an easy undertaking, I will admit. Sprained muscles are par for the course, but the same way climbing a mountain is painstaking, but reaching the top delivers a high you can never forget. The struggle is all worth it for the outcome. <laughs> no wonder she's built like an athlete. Her job sounds like non-stop high-intensity exercise. So... How has your kind not gone extinct? Oh. Uh, extinct? Made redundant by technology. Can't you see? Are there ways to make specialised weapons without overworking yourself? Well, I, I don't like to admit it. Against modern machines, it's true I'm not an equal match. <laughs> because I think I'm better than them. Those songs of metal may look cool, but their creations lack the human touch. You gotta keep things natural, traditional. That's when truly amazing things happen. Now would you look at that? If my creation touches the heart, it's better than anything made by machine. Imperfections be damned. My, my. Oh. Better than machines, sir. People have always told me my skills were impressive, but I'm yet to be compared to a computer or something. How come a blacksmith can receive that sort of acclaim before me? Could you explain? There's always been a demand for handmade things, especially nowadays. Does your audience skew older by chance? Old folks, movie producers, board game enthusiasts, even the occasional youngin, these are all people who visit me. Wowie! It's great when I can relate to most of my clients. Their excitement is mine. Exactly which clients does she relate to? Moving on. In any case, are you the same as us? Were you also kidnapped on that train and taken here? Oh, oh I wouldn't say kidnapped. Come again. What? Did you not black out on that train? Huh? Uh, no, I did. Well? Then how else would you describe this situation? Maybe it's a, a surprise excursion? Hiya! Better yet, a surprise exam. The people running this program are just putting our abilities to the test. Please don't do a Yasuhiro on us. <laughs> He was like this at the start of Trigabi Havoc. He was in denial for so long. Take this seriously. That's stupid. If the Academy was that unhinged, no one would continue attending it. Let's get going! Well, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Needless optimism isn't a substitute for reason. By the way... I mean, I see where you're coming from there, Damon. I will admit. 
By the way, there's a gathering happening outside the building Miss Kyura explored. Would you like to join? We plan to discuss some very important matters there. No. Aren't you nice? I'll get right to it. Don't do anything silly while I'm gone. Oh, she's nice. Ooh. Shutter door. Sorry, I'm just going to examine this while I can. Eh? It's a shutter door. Strike me pink. Oh, so it is. Is it possible there's an exit behind this? Let's check. Please don't. I wouldn't get too excited. It doesn't seem like we can even open this shutter door. Look, there's no handle. Mm. Oh, my peers and I attempted to open these doors earlier. Tried as we might, we encountered the same obstacle. No handle. I see. Maybe the door is automated. Hear me out. Well, why don't we make a dent in it? You all know what battering rams are, right? We could replicate one. If we group together and slam against the door, one of the hinges might give in. No. If you want to break an arm, go ahead. <laughs> It was just an idea. This is difficult. With enough force, there's a chance these shutter doors could be torn down. Although, those these wristwatches might zap us. There must be something. We won't know unless we test it out. What if we use an object as a battering ram instead? I'm sure. How about we discuss it with everyone later? We should organise ourselves first. <laughs> sure. Wolfgang very much a voice of reason in this. I like him. Alright, Winona, let's talk to you. Entrepreneur? Oof. Don't know what voice I'm going to give you. So you all got caught up in this too, did you? I remember seeing the five of you on that train. You're really ultimate students, huh? Correct. We wouldn't have been on that train if we weren't. <laughs> just making sure. I knew the education sector had low standards, but... Are they just handing out titles to anyone who asks? Oh, look, another lovely person! <laughs> Please. What the hell is your damage? <laughs> uh, right, right, that's it. Hmm? What's the matter? <laughs> I know this bitch. Ah. As in, personally? Now she's the harlot that's been ruining my magazines. Ugh. Ever since her interview with Rich People's Digest, her stupid success stories have been plastered everywhere. The youngest ever self-made billionaire, pioneer of the agricultural industry, blur. Did I hear that right? This girl we're talking to? Is she actually... <laughs> I'm flattered you've memorised my resume. Huh? Your resume? So those things she said weren't an exaggeration? If I may ask... Are all this is news to you? Anyone who's anyone knows about Winona. Winona? That would be my name, yes. Although, many call me the ultimate entrepreneur. Origins aside, it's one good title. God, you've also got an American accent. I can't really do two American accents, can I? <laughs> um, uh, 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 I've already done Australian. I'm trying to think what sort of voice I'll give you. Screw it, I'm going Irish with you. Why the hell not? Alright, so we've got the ultimate entrepreneur. I'm certainly getting through everyone. How many have we met so far? We've got Ava, Damon, uh, Toshiko, Wolfgang, Grace, that's five. Uh, Eloise, Desmond, that's seven. Uh, ship's Captain, Ingrid, uh, now her, that's ten. So obviously we still have Cassidy, Gamer over there. We still have got the drag racer, the uh, music producer, the influencer, cosmetologist and the historian. So yeah, that would be sixteen. So six more after this one. Um, no wonder she gave off such an intense aura. This girl probably has enough money to buy an entire country. Still, that doesn't mean I'm going to let her down to bleh, let her talk down to me. Mm. Oh, she has looks, talent, and wealth. She'd be a truly auspicious match. Interesting. Oh, then why would a billionaire need to attend a school like Eden's Garden Academy? Mm. I uh, right Irish. I said Irish, didn't I? I thought it'd be an opportunity to make connections with the well-established geniuses of my generation. Nasty. Now that I'm aware of the lax admissions process, I'm leaving the first chance I get, and not because you've been kidnapped. <laughs> Oh, you can't leave. Destiny has decreed that I must guide you towards the most wondrous romance. Ha <laughs> ha! No. Nope. I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather receive financial reparations from the Academy. <laughs> oh, at the, the very least, let me be your stead. With my divine foresight, I shall lead your legal battle to victory. Oh. After I fell asleep in that train car, someone must have carried me out and dumped me next to the tree here. Sheesh. I didn't know what stopped them. Were there no precautions in place to stop someone from manhandling a student? I'd say it was extreme ineptitude on the school's end, but since it appears I'm not the only victim... What a joke. Well, that makes things all the more sinister. So she thinks someone carried her here? It's plausible, I guess. They could have transported us from the train by vehicle, then carried us in. When you woke up, was there anyone with you? Honestly? Yep, but she was weird, so I left her. <laughs> You're a walking... St oh, wrong voice. <laughs> You're a walking... St fuck it, I keep going Irish. G'day, mates. You're a walking stereotype. There you we go. See. Sometimes I have to do that to get the Australian accent, but... We know about as much as you do. Five of us have been walking around and talking to the other students that were on the train. Let's see. The rest of them are congregating outside. Once we meet everyone, maybe we'll be able to figure out what's going on. By the way... Say, why don't you join them? <laughs> I think I'll take you up on that offer. 
Such a relief that one of you actually had something useful to say. The rest of you are feckin' useless. <laughs> Damn. That girl is a piece of work, but given the recent happening, she's not worth the stress. More importantly, what's happened to us is too much for a single pair of hands. Someone had to sneak onto, maybe even hijack that train, plant a chemical agent, and then carry everyone they've knocked out. There's got to be more than one person behind this. A group, maybe. The question becomes, who and why? Fair point, Damon. All right, gamer girl, let's talk to you. I forgot what voice I gave you, actually, before. Yo! I'm Cassidy Amber, the ultimate pro gamer. Don't forget it, Kay. <laughs> Straight to the point. I like it. Nice. <laughs> no beating around the bush with you, is there? Very nice. Okie doke. Jumping right into an introduction. I like it. <laughs> yep. Um, shall I give it like a dramatic sort of announcer voice? Commentator, making a good first impression is key to grabbing the attention of your viewers, especially if you have over 20 million of them. Got to earn that watch time. Is that really true? 20 million? Is gaming really that popular? Hell yes, it is, Ava. Duh. Do you not realise you're in a video game right now? <laughs> it's not just gaming; it's pro gaming. Yo. <laughs> Facing off against opponents in front of a large audience with prestige and prizes on the line, the stakes can't get any higher. While the talent is pretty frivolous, her, her attitude towards video game competitions is somewhat impressive. Sort of like how I feel about debating. Question. Oh, question. Hello? What is it? Hmm. Do you guys know if this place has internet? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I promised my comrades my streaming schedule wouldn't change after starting school. So I'm kind of freaking out. Come again. Your comrades. Hey, hey! Cassidy's comrades. They're the biggest fan community on the internet. She must mean her followers being a streamer and all. It would definitely explain the hat. Curious. Got there. Uh, my nose. Something very itchy. Uh, one second. I'm just going to jump cut while I blow my nose. Okay, back in. There we go. Just gulped down my tea as well as I was on it. Because it's getting lukewarm. You must be very wealthy then. I've heard that popular streamers earn a lot of money. Especially from subscriber donations. Indeed. Oh, there are many stories about young men falling prey to the infamous tiered subscription. They are rendered forever unmarriageable. Such a shame. <laughs> So how many suckers have you swindled? With such a large fan base, you must be raking in the dough. Oh no. <laughs> that was an interesting sound effect. The hell? What's wrong with your face? I see how it is. You think the only wait, you think the only motivation is money, don't you? Hey. But that voice No it wasn't, was it? Well duh, why else would you be a streamer? Bourgeoisie scum. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. That's an interesting line. <laughs> Whoa. I stream for the betterment of the human race. As a leader of Cassidy's comrades, it's my duty to redistribute most of my earnings to the masses. You mean you give away all your money? Yep. I do tons of expensive and generous stunts on my channel. Most of it is for charity, but sometimes it's for random subscribers. <laughs> my genius is almost frightening. One time I bought a spaghetti factory and donated it to a public school. Those kids will never have to pay for lunch again. They've probably gotten sick of eating pasta every day. <laughs> <laughs> All of these giveaways are stream too. They're really popular, so I get tons of views and donations from them. Impressive. Impressive. You managed to commodify the act of charity. <laughs> Me thinks she wouldn't like that, so, but... Uh, of course, I gotta reserve some money for basic necessities. A truckload of chocolate soda being one. Duh. But it's not a problem for a person like me to have money, since I earn it through my own hard work. So unfair. The real problems are the swine who make billions every year. Even though all they do is sit around, drink cocktails, and stare at their stock profile. Bourgeoisie scum. In fact, I can even detect the rancid stench of a morally bankrupt billionaire in this very academy. I bet they're plotting to profit off our suffering as we speak. This girl is honestly pretty deranged, though that might be why she has such a large audience. <laughs> Regardless, it doesn't explain why someone like her was invited to Eden's Garn Academy. Because she's good at games, Damon. Don't judge. Oh, as well as I am a future confrontation between you and the most more affluent students, I suggest you head over to the building I investigated. Oh, we've been telling other people to gather there. Okay. All right, it was nice meeting y'all. Well, she's friendly at the very least, as long as you don't get on a bad side. All right, friggin' drag racer, man. God, look at you creeping away behind. Just going to block you out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Come on, man. Just say something. No, oh, he's trying to talk to him, is he? Come on, please. Can you please? So harsh. All I wanted was your name. Hi. <laughs> he's a bit dramatic, this one. Oh, it's more people. That's a slipping and sliding. 
I do like the fact that his voice actor has actually muffled his voice because of the helmet. Hey there. Oi! What's the matter with him? Yeah. I don't know. I was gonna just trying to get this guy's name, but he won't say anything. It's simple. If he's being a weirdo about it, just ignore him. Who are you anyway? <laughs> Who am I? Corrupt. The name's Jet Dawson, Ultimate Drag Racer. Nice to meet you, shrimp. <laughs> I kind of like you already. <laughs> Ultimate Drag Racer. How many contests have you won? A drag racer, given his outfit, that comes as no surprise. Mm. Aren't you warm in that suit? <laughs> Why did you just... <laughs> what, what, what was with the Scooby impersonation then? Are you confused? There's a fan inside the back of my helmet that emits cool air. Kind of like the fans in car seats that cool your butt. Let's rock and roll! Isn't that super rad? With the way he yells every word, he could make anything sound like a big deal. Mm. Only issue is they don't extend to the rest of my suit. Get a grip! And stop wearing the suit. What? I walk around naked? Dumbass! I mean, wear different clothes. <laughs> You're just like, get me out of here. So... You should also have an ultimate talent, correct? Well... Would you mind sharing it? Wow, he is quiet as hell. My name's Mark Bursky. I produce music. So, a music producer? Yeah. Interesting. I've already kind of given the timid voice to someone else. It's nothing. Well, unless I sort of do the timid voice, but more deeper, since it's a guy. Oh, oh blimey. But uh, it's mostly bad remixes and stuff. Mommy. No, man, your music is wicked good. Really? Oh, you know my songs. Not a chance. Nope. <laughs> wow. <laughs> do I even have to? You're the ultimate music producer. That just about says it all. Moving on. I assume you two also woke up in this place, right? Do you have any idea what might be going on? Yeah. This whole shebang did come out of the blue, but... Let me think. To be honest, it feels a lot like an extreme horn. Do you know what that is? No, I don't. The figures. You don't look like the type. Hey. Meaning? You fallen? Anyway, extreme haunts are really intense horror attractions. Think a haunted house crossed with a survival horror game. Oh boy. Stuff will chuck you into underground tunnel systems, trap you in coffins, anything to scare you. I'm pretty good with the coffins, not so much the tunnels. That's not important. What's this got to do with us? Catch my drift? You see, there's a couple places that are known for starting that haunt with a simulated kidnapping. Eh? For real? To make it feel as real as possible, they'll even take you when you least expect it. The thing is, they can't just jump anybody. You gotta consent first. <sighs> the hell? I never agreed to be kidnapped. Come off the grass. Extreme haunts, eh? Uh, people know better than to involve me in that crap. Well? Maybe we consented to our kidnapping without realising? Eh? Hey? For example, the letters we received from the Academy. Is it possible those invitations were actually consent forms in disguise? Really? Don't tell me you actually believe this guy. Correct. Given what we've seen so far, I'd wager anything is possible. Is that really what's happening here? In accepting that letter asking me to join Eden's Garden Academy, did I unknowingly agree to this crap? Meh. Well, that's just a theory. We don't know what's going on until we explore some more. In any case... I know some people who might be interested in your theory. They're gathering by the courtyard outside. You can join them if you want. Adios. Sure thing. Let's go, Mark. Yeah, he doesn't talk much. Though he looked less than confused, he let the drag racer take him by the arm and lead him away. Could it really be possible? Were the letters we received actually consent forms in disguise? Is this some kind of messed up attraction? What does that say about Eden's Garden Academy? Is it a part of the charade? Is Eden's Garden Academy even real? I should know better than to think nonsense things like that. If the Academy was fake, someone would have already blown its cover. It's more likely that this is happening unbeknownst to the Academy. Mm, who knows? Alright, we've got our sort of final few people over here. Ew, hello, hello, hello. Possible waifu choice, who knows? I'm really sorry for hurting your feelings. I'll give you content a try, who knows, I might really like it. Oh, are you talking to the influencer guy? Man. If you didn't like me from the start, you're never gonna like me. Hey, you two. Way. Huh? Over here! Oh crap, new guy, over here! Huh? What? You boarded the train before things went all crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, check it out! Me and the new guy, together again! Stop! Stop acting like we're friends, I don't even know you. <laughs> You're just messing with me. That's a joke, right? What is? You know, the thing you just said. Hey! Maybe you've heard my name before. Does Kai... Montiego? Ring a bell? Hey! 
Go on, Kai Montiego. Something of an artist, something of an entrepreneur. Very funny. He's an influencer, a really big influencer. <sighs> nope, doesn't ring a bell. Ouch. Right. right in the ego. Oh, he's gonna voice that. I thought I already lost all faith in humanity before coming to this dump, but. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kai. Ultimate influencer. Yep. Your dreams are getting crushed today, are they? You don't recognize a dumbass. Must be nice. Huh? You do? Yes. The guy's the cancer of the internet. You disagree with him on one thing and he'll sick his army of underage followers on you. <laughs> He's a dictator with a trendy fit. Uh, another day, another drama. Dictator? Sheesh, you naysayer types are always so overdramatic. Whatever. I'll figure out what voice to give him in due course. Does it to a new guy? This chick's just recycling other people's propaganda. Are you done yet? You want to talk? Check yourself in the mirror before crying propaganda. Uh... Huh? See that? Yeah, I see you're no stranger to photo editing. Kinda of impressed. No one would ever guess you have the face of a horse. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this guy's just being absolutely torn down. And the tears returned as quickly as they vanished. I'm not sure what I expected an influencer to be like in person, but this was definitely not it. Don't be mean. Hey, leave Kai alone. He may not be the nicest person in the room, but can't you see you're hurting his feelings? Ugh. He can get over it. Anyway. What about you? Hmm. Cosmetologist? <clears throat> can you give me your name and talent? Oh. Sure. Diana Venesia. Diana, sorry. Your local cosmetologist. If you're ever in need of a makeover, I'll work my magic. <laughs> Just ask. Well, you seem nice enough. Diana. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. You see, what's impressive about this is just the character designs as well. How much effort's clearly gone into them. How much thought as well. Because one of the things that I hear people often do when they're trying to make fangans is they often start with character designs and then try and form fit like a character personality and story to it. Whereas really it should be the other way around. You should think of the character name, talent, and personality and backstory first. And then you should design what they actually look like. I feel like this is probably very much the case that um, they thought of the talents and the characters first and then applied the designs. Come again. Is that it? You're just a makeup artist? For your information. Oh, not just a makeup artist, the makeup artist. What? Indeed. Oh, Diana is the biggest beautician in Hollywood. She's relatively new to the public sphere, but word of her talent has been dominating social media. Oh, enough to pique the interest of the entertainment elite. <laughs> oh, now every A-list celebrity is scrambling to hire her. Oh, I see this is not your first time talking about her. Hmm. I'm simply quoting my friends. Oh, they're all on Diana's waiting list. I'm sure. I'm sure. I anybody? Why is it a shock that this guy doesn't recognise her? What about me? How humiliating. Why do you care what he thinks? Isn't the demographic for people like you largely teenage girls? Hell no! My stuff is for everyone. I'm inclusive like that. Hold on. Okay, that's it. Let's break this up. Diana, could you and Kai go to the courtyard outside? We're trying to get everyone together there. No worries. Now, I'm thinking... <sighs> What am I thinking? I might... Okay, for these... This is, you see, the final few characters where I'm just going to have to give them really random voices to differentiate them from everyone else. I'm thinking I might just give Diana, just randomly, my sort of Italian Mario voice. <laughs> All right, to see you later. <sighs> and I think I might just make him French, because why the hell not? But none of those guys like me either. I don't know how long I'll keep that up for, because that sometimes knackers my throat as well. Hold on, I just need to cough. Jump cut. Shallow water. I mean, look at all this over here. I could arguably, or possibly, go for a swim as long as I'm sharky boy decides not to be an asshole. Let's so uh, we'll get that. Harvest some uh, bags from around here, and then we'll uh, explore our island. <laughs> 